How to avoid making a useless film, a thousand ways. Perhaps the most useful text I can recommend is James Agee's Let Us Now Praise Famous Men. Have any of you heard of it? You know of it? Have read it? Good. It, that's the book that got me started thinking about the production of real images and real text long before I fell into filmmaking in the late 60s. A.G. was writing about the most abject tenant sharecroppers in Alabama, I think it was in the 40s, uh, and questioning himself and his techniques every step of the way, and those questions are in the book. In, uh, finally, he found a way to present these folks and their condition with absolutely no intimacy, though they were described precisely uh, and in detail, no condescension, no pathos, no appeal to his readers to fix something. Understanding what their living is, really, is all, just all. A.G. and we, the readers, are self-conscious learning about these lives. I would call it a post-realist book. So if you want to read something, read that. The post-realist film is a form of cinema in which the codes of structure and Codes of structure and social arrangements are self-evident, designed not to reproduce situations, but to discover them, not to reflect on, but to change the way we understand reality by decoupling signifiers from their traditional signifieds. A lot of theory talk, but maybe you know what I mean. And recopying them into new and radical pairs. Here is the greatest model of post-realism practice I could offer. The most important anti-document I've ever run into. And it's from uh, Jorge Luis Borges' story, El Idioma de John Wilkins. And many of you have seen this, but to me is the best way to explain what a, a post-realist text could be. In a certain, in Chiclet, in, he writes, in a certain Chinese encyclopedia, it is written that animals are divided into A, belonging to the emperor, B, embalmed, C, tame, D, sucking pigs, E, sirens, F, fabulous, G, stray dogs, H, included in the present classification, I, frenzied, J, innumerable, K, drawn with a very fine camel's hair brush, L, etc., M, having just broken the water pitcher, and N, that from a long way off looked like flies. Yeah? <laughs> That's a Chinese encyclopedia entry. Obviously, it's an exploitation and a destruction of the encyclopedia entry. The kind of things that tell us that Argentina has a population of so many, their major crops are, well, uh, they're Christians. So he is destroying the encyclopedia entry and with it the whole idea that you can uh, uh, collect collect up into language, in this case, the encyclopedia, the unbelievable varieties and surfaces of the world, right? So the anti, the post-realist film tries to do something like that, tries to make it impossible to uh, stay in that rational mind uh, that's very used to documentary as we know it, uh, which tells us where we sit and where they are and what our relationship should be with them and how to feel about all that. The, the post-realist film destroys the documentary in some way, in the way that Borges destroys the encyclopedia. Uh, can a film artist speak about